Hello all. Right, so, no vault video just yet. I'm halfway through the decoration. Um, those who want to know where I am on this, it's... Follow me on Twitter, at no respawns, because uh, I'm going to give you updates. Basically, quite simple, it's just boring as fuck to finish the decoration. I've done half of it. It looks pretty cool. I'm trying to make... The problem is, I'm trying to not rush it. Because you're doing so much of the same room over and over and over and over again. Like, especially with the domestic rooms, it's kind of... And all the corridors look the same as well. So I'm trying to not speed it. Um, but it just means that it just destroys my soul a little bit. Um, I'll probably have it to most Monday rather than tomorrow. Because I'm going to do a little bit... Falling Brahmin. Um, I'm going to do a little bit tomorrow and then a little bit Monday. And that will kind of mean that it will just be done. And then the following day we'll have the Nuka World videos. So I figure that's pretty cool. But I decided, right, I wanted to do something a bit more creative. Um, I didn't have anything specific planned. Normally I try and have like a, a specific structure in mind. So I thought, right, I had a vague idea of what I wanted to do with this. Well, with the whole side, but specifically right now with this side of um, uh, Hujima Flip. Starlight Driving, that's what this place is called. Um, also, as an added bonus, you see, I'm, I'm going to basically build kind of like a tiny version of my little boxcar shack thing. Um, it's actually, thinking about it, it's kind of the same, same-ish. It's a bit smaller, basically, but it's alright. Um, yeah, it's... Fucking vaults are so... <laughs> I really like what that DLC adds. But I realise I don't want to make vaults. <laughs> it's been a really big thing for me. <laughs> it's like my kind of... Oh, God, it's just been so boring to fucking finish. Jesus. <laughs> but I'm really pleased it's done. That's why I'm like, I'm not just gonna letting it go the way, you know, way of some other things where I'm just like, I, I'm not doing this. No, I want to finish it, but it's, fuck me, it's so boring. Alongside that, I have been playing quite a lot of Deus Ex Mankind Divided. Those of you who don't know, which is most people, actually, because I don't think I mentioned it, um, Deus Ex 1, so from the two, early 2000, maybe even 2000 game, um, on PC. You can obviously, I think you can get it on PS1 as well. Um, it's actually one of my favourite games of all time. That, alongside Bioshock, uh, Fallout 2, um, Fallout New Vegas, Fallout 3, Fallout 4, um, and Boulder's Gate 2, specifically, um, Shadow of Alarm, um, are some of my favourite games ever. Um, and I really like Human Revolution a lot, and I still... Mankind Divided is a very, 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 very good game. But, and I think, I think Jim Sterling, I should have fucking dug up the quote, because he made a great kind of, like, tweet about this. Um, which is basically, it's just one of those games where it's just such a, this is me paraphrasing, it might be the correct league, that's what he said, but it's just like such a, it's such a conflict with the publisher and the dev team is insane with that game. As in, it's a game, you can tell it's a labour of love, right? But then you've got these completely just clueless developer, <laughs> um, publisher rather, who just like, oh my god, it's insane. Seriously, if you haven't played it, definitely I, rec I can recommend it highly. But what I would recommend doing is not getting any collector's edition at all. Um, I actually got the Steelbook edition because it looks nice. Like, I, I paid for the tin. It was an extra three quid. And it's still, I think it's the day one edition. So I think you... I think you have to buy it in certain areas, so you, you still always get the day one edition. For those who don't know, just the, 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 in man in Human Revolution, basically, you were able to get a collector's edition that would give you items that, you know, you'd spec collector's items. So in the case of the one I've got, um, it gives me when I start a new game. Whenever I start a new game, I get, and it's on the PC version as well, I think. I've got some both of them. I've got, like, um... You get like a sniper rifle, shotgun, uh, loads of credits, loads of items. It's got like extra, extra stuff, but it does make the game a little easier at the start. But it's also cool because you know you get some funky stuff. I think you get a, a version of the sniper rifle I don't think you can get very often in the game. So it's pretty cool. This does that as well, right? Except you have to access a storage. And what's a lot of you already know this, but for those who don't, basically, you cannot use these items again. So they're one use. Um, in the case of the weapons, you can continuously use them, so you then get that weapon, but you only get that for that one save. So if you want to use, say, for example, like you get quite like a, a funky looking version of the 9mm pistol with a different skin. It's like, kind of like a bit more of a kind of a gold brass skin. It looks very cool. Um, I think it may have slightly different stats. Um, but basically, so you can use that throughout the game, but 
the only way for me to have that on a different playthrough is for me to save like right at the start of the game when I redeemed it and just never save over that save and that would allow me um, just have a little staircase here, by the way. I'm quite pleased how I did this. <laughs> um, but that would allow me to then use the pistol later on. I can't just, you know, delete my save, or, you know, for whatever reason, lose my save, or just reinstall the game, or whatever, later on, or just hit new game and have the pistol available. And it's such shady marketing. It's unbelievable. However, it's, it's one of those things where the actual game and the dev team have put so much love into this. And it is such a good game that it's, you, you just hate, you hate Square Enix for what they're doing. Um, and it's also worse, the fact that these are the guys who you thought maybe learned your, for those of you who don't remember, they did that augment your pre-order bullshit. And you think, okay, they've learned their lesson, they got, they got a little bit greedy, they're not going to do this again. No, 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 it's a single player game with microtransactions. I'm like, why? <laughs> why? What, what 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 are you gonna do? It's not as if it's got it's it's got you know it's 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 an open you know it's pretty kind of like you know sandbox no not even sandboxy you know there's no fucking hell <laughs> god damn it it's, it's it's basically it's like what they did with Dead Space Three except Dead Space Three wasn't very good this is an amazing game just just fucking hell bloody fuck anyway regardless it's a great game my recommendation just enjoy it. But don't, don't you dare. This is Davy commanding you, right? If I find any of you have purchased anything from the Square Enix store, thus encourage these fuck nuggets, because there is going to be another one, because apparently I haven't finished it yet, but apparently the story is deliberately weak so they can set up a sequel as well, which I bet you was a publisher decision, not a dev decision. Um, but if any of you fuck nuggets, yeah, this is the fuck nuggets. <laughs> um, if, if you basically, if, if you... If you do purchase anything from their store, thus encouraging this shady business, pra business practice, therefore you are a fuck nugget, and therefore I hate you. Well, I don't hate you. I'm just really disappointed. Um, if you don't, then you're not a fuck nugget. Unless you want to be a fuck nugget, then you, you, you then, then you be whatever you like. But just don't encourage them. Fuck no. Ugh. Sorry. I just I, I I basically got the game yesterday, so like you know how those people are going crazy on Reddit and on the forums. I've just started experiencing. I, I'm basically like four or five days behind everyone else being like, wow, guys, this is bullshit. And now I'm going to make a video that everyone else has made a video five days ago. But it's crap. Anyway, on the subject of cool shit, though, I'm really pleased with this entrance to my bus. And I'm going to incorporate this in a settlement in some way as a kind of slightly bunkery entrance. It's basically using the boxcars. And I wanted to just use the tunnel side. This, you know, making it feel like it was a tunnel. But this is so simple, and it looks so well. So I've got the two fence entrances on each side. Reverse, because you know how much I fap over my reverse fences. I don't know why. They just make me so happy. Um, it looks cool, right? So it's all very snappy and close. I think, right, but it looks bollocks right now. That looks terrible, Dave. What the fuck is wrong with you? Unsub. But, ah, you see what I was experimenting with there? Ooh, ooh. Please don't unsub, by the way. Watch watch the whole thing first before you decide you despise me. Um, then go for it, as far as I'm concerned, because I'm a bastard. Um, and I deserve it. But please don't. But I would deserve it. But please don't. Um, so basically, this is just it, it just works so well. I'm going to try and incorporate a bit quill. I've, I've still got probably a little bit more I need to add, because there's a little bit of space between this and the bus, but I completely forget to do it. This, probably gather right, this settlement isn't finished. Um, so, But like, look at it. It looks really cool. I like it looks really good and it doesn't look out of place and I'm quite pleased with what I did basically when I'm avoiding doing some important something that I promised to do like the vault I get really creative so yeah good I guess also just an FYI um I do also completely store the pillar I know a lot of you were pissed off at the fact that I, I mentioned this before but basically I keep storing the pillar when I do the pillar glitch um and I literally store it every time <laughs> sorry I don't think I was in the zone. I mean, I was in the zone. The building's really good, but, um... Look, wait, wait for it. I'm going to store the pillar again. Oh, yeah! So, sorry about that. It makes up... I'm not going to estimate here. Probably about 99% of the video is me storing the pillar and then searching for it. So, sorry about that. Um, but doorway looks very cool. So, it makes up for it, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, that looks really good. Ah, it looks even better now I see it playing back. Oh, I'm quite pleased with that. 
I'm impressed that I can still manage. Like, I'm impressed that, well, not just me, but like everyone as well. We can still think of cool stuff to do. Like, something I haven't done before. I'm very pleased by that. And the fact that I can think up something is like, yes! I still got it. There's still life in me yet. Um, this tower, I like. It's pretty boring, but I'm like, I want to just put a tower here, so it's maybe not the most exciting tower. Also, one thing, however, and I'm looking at it now, I think it needs to be a few degrees twisted towards the bus. So, before the before I come back here again, um, I might actually just twist it around a little bit. Because you look at it, it's a it doesn't look, it's... I mean, unless I put something between the bus and this, then it would be fine. I'm undecided. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I don't, I, I don't know. I just don't know anymore. I do, actually. I'm, I'm, I'm probably not going to twist it around, because that would involve doing it all again, and I can't be asked. Um, I like putting these prefabs on top of here, by the way. Come on. get it. There we go. There we go. This is basically what I do in this, kind of like the barricaded this side. I'm quite pleased with it. Um, so my whole idea with this area is so it looks like it's kind of not really walled off. It's just barricaded. You may notice as well, if you peeked around, you can see it that I'm not scrapping any of the, the cars. Because um, I want it to still feel like it's just just a little bit of a scrapyard. Um, also, I, I realised the mistake I did it because I'd forgotten how I did this before. If you want to do this, so you want to put like... So it's perfectly sunk in. Put like a guard post there. You need to actually put um, floor on the other side before you put the guard post on, and then you can take the floor on afterwards. I completely and utterly forgot. Um, so instead, I just kind of make a little crappy thing with um, railings and then two half walls. But it looks alright. It looks alright. I'm quite pleased with the result, um, but it wasn't actually my guard tower approach that I was thinking first. It looks alright. Though in hindsight, what I possibly could have done is, instead of done it this way, I could have done it from the other side using a pillar and actually had this so it wasn't... Because if you see here, it's kind of... you can It's quite good, but if you look at it, it's floating. Like, the actual wall is floating a little bit on one side. Not this side, the other side. Unless you actually put it on the other side of the wall, actually, on the railing. I'm undecided. I'm trying to experiment here. This is me just kind of like, I want to show you what I'm building, but I'm trying to experiment each time and kind of do something a little bit different. See, ah, I know what it is. It's because of the fact that the railing I'm using, because it's got a gap underneath, you can see the floating wall. So just, I just need to use a different railing on that part and it would look right. Um, also, the reason why I take the stairs off is because you can't snap. You have to take the stairs off to snap the railing on. See where it does that? But for whatever reason, watch this. It's really stupid. If I snap that there, I can put a railing on. But I can't put railing on the side of it. It's stupid. Whatever. Um, and then I'm just going to put some reversed junk fences um, to support and cover up the bottom of the scaffolding, um, which I decided to show you. Um, and in hindsight, I should have taken off. But you know what? Fuck it. It's fine. If I have to do these stupid fences constantly, you bunch of glorious bastards get to see me do it all the time. But it's cool. On the subject of me doing l very boring, repetitive actions, and oh, not forgetting to store that particular concrete pillar, though I will then store another one. Um, in terms of Nuka World, I'm trying to think of how I do a Let's Play if I do do a Let's Play. Now, I'm not going to stream it, flat out no. Um, just because I want to focus with people physically. I'll, have, I'll feel obligated to read the chat, so I won't bother doing that. Um, but I'm trying to think. I might not literally do a Let's Play of the entire thing, just because it will be too long. You know, it's going to be like a kind of a 10-hour situation, I imagine, potentially, of gameplay. I mean, maybe not that long. No, maybe maybe quite a bit. Um, I'll probably... El I'm, I've got my Elgato, which, those who don't know, because someone made it, that actually means the cat in Spanish, apparently. Um... Uh, Elgato was a, a piece of... Ca it's a capture card, yeah? It's just, just someone keeps making the cat joke. Um, so I might record everything, um, but how I do it... it I don't know. I, I do want to do kind of a Let's Play kind of thing, because um, I think it'll be fun. Also, I am conscious of the fact of... just, just I, just, I don't like Let's Plays, but because it's very relevant to what we're doing, and I thought some this will be more for you guys rather than necessarily for, you know, attracting new people to the channel. I'm not going to suddenly imagine it's a Let's Play channel. Whether it'd be fun specifically for Nuka World. 
However, I'm trying to think how I do it, because I don't know if I want to literally show you every single thing. Also, I am conscious that, um, <laughs> I w to keep it entertaining means I'm going to have to literally talk to myself <laughs> straight for, like, nine hours or something, which I can actually do. Um, but I do feel bad for my flatmates hearing me ramble away in my room all day. But we'll see, we'll see. Um, at the very least, what I might do is just kind of record me doing kind of key parts of the quest chain, potentially. Or key areas. Or maybe do a kind of like um, a highlight thing, so I'll just kind of skip over the boring parts. So and when I get to some action, it'll be back to me, you know killing shit. We'll see, we'll see, but it should be quite fun. Um, I'm also, oh, those of you guys who don't know and don't follow me on Twitter, um, I've now got my GPU for my new PC now as well, so I can literally, I did some tests um, on a couple of games, so I, I tested Overwatch, because I've, I've now bought Overwatch on the PC. Um, full HD, um, well, basically, I, I, cause I've got Bandicam, and it has a little FPS counter, so basically I could record the whole thing on ultimate graphics everything literally turned up to the max um and i get 60 fps um so we're good pc gaming is definitely gonna be on the channel um i think it's mainly because the reason why it's so good my, my like my speed is because my processor is uh 600k which is a good one even though it's an i5 and i've got 16 gigabytes of ram um also i haven't even gotten around to getting my ssd yet so it should be even better um, and then I tested on a couple of games. I tested it Rust. I tested it on, and I could get... It was just shy of 60 FPS, actually, because Rust is obviously a, an early access game. Um, so it's a bit hazy in points. And Daisy was fine as well. Um, surprisingly. Okay, right, here's the little kind of just... Little normal speed tour of what we built so far. As I said, um... I will have the Vault video up Monday. There we go. Let's put it as Monday. Even if I finish before, I'm just going to upload it on Monday so I can just chill and not have videos back to back so I can break them up a little bit um, and we'll be doing the Nuka World stuff will be on Tuesday don't know what it'll be of probably just a probably summary of how I feel about it anyway as always follow me on Twitter at no respawns if you want to see what I'm up to um, and you guys enjoy the rest of your well Monday if you have a Monday back holiday in the UK if not just enjoy work I guess I'm gonna just sleep anyway love you all take care